So we're down to the second to the last topic for this day. So the next topic to be presented po is the innovative products from corn. To present po is the Regional Technical Director for Research and Regulatory of the Department of Agriculture, Regional Field Office, Cagayan Valley. Let us all welcome Director Rosemary Aquino. Hello po! Good afternoon! Okay pa po ba kayo? Gising pa? Okay, break po muna natin ng feasibility analysis. Ha. Punta muna tayo sa most innovative products. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng negosyo ngayon tungkol sa mais. Okay, for processing. So, gusto ko po start ang aking presentation dito po sa slide namin na to. Ito po yung Cagayan Valley Well Maze. Okay? Para po sa health and wellness na product po out of corn. Okay, so uh, ito pong ipepresent ko sa inyo ay bunga po ito ng aming pananaliksik sa product development or R&D uh, on product development on corn funded by DA Bar Techcom Division. Okay, so ito po, we created po a, a framework Uh, uh, last year po, kung saan uh, ini-strengthen po namin ang product development and we started with it with corn program. Okay, yung uh, apat po na division ng aming region dos sa, sa DA ay pinagsama-sama po namin yung services, in-harmonize po namin para sa ganun, pag gumawa po kami ng product, science-based product, we see to it na yung role po ng bawat isa, especially po yung sa food safety program dahil pagkain po pinag-uusapan ay ano po to, uh, uh, binibigyan siya ng pansin. Okay. Bakit po kami nag-develop ng products? Kasi po ang bagong battle cry po ng DA Region 2 is towards agripreneurship at tamang-tama po sa tema ng ating NTF ngayong taon. Okay. Ito po yung innovative products out of maize or corn. Uh, ito pong produkto na to ay ano to? Ni na nagkaroon po siya ng intellectual property right under the brand name Mangi Maxi. By the way, ang Mangi po is the local name ng mais sa mga ibanags, especially in Region 2. We call it Mangi. Okay? Or the mais or the maize. Okay. So we have these uh, different products out of corn. We have developed for transfer to, to investors, especially manufacturers, uh, uh, distributors, mag, mag, gusto po mag-franchise, mag-process, even anong level man yan, pwede po namin ibigay non-exclusive, kahit sino po pwede magnegosyo. Willing po kami i-transfer ito lahat, even the trade secret. Because we are being funded by the government, we are public goods, so lahat po gusto magnegosyo, pwede po ito kunin. Okay? So, una po, hindi lang po kami nag-develop ng products dahil yun ay inisip namin, kundi tinitingnan po namin ang pangailan ng merkado. Ano pong usong-usong ngayon? Disaster food, relief food for nutrition and feeding program. So, dinevelop po na yung produkto na to para po doon sa Uh, objective na yon at the same time tinitingnan namin ang hinahanap na, na po ngayon dahil mahirap ang buhay ay yung very affordable at pangmasa na pagkain. Okay, so yan po plus recently ang ating president uh, Duterte ay nag-issue po siya ng RA 10 uh, 11037 institutionalizing po in national feeding program in public daycare, kindergarten and elementary school to combat hunger and undernutrition. So, tamang-tama po itong produkto na dinevelop po ng Department of Agriculture, Agriculture Region 2. So, we have now intellectual property right ng tatlong major products na yan. The Mangi Maxi brand, the May Silky Sip out of yung fresh uh, buhok ng mais, which is diuretic, and 
yung unang-unang most innovative product namin, which is the Pinoy Gore Mix. Okay. So, bakit po ito yung produkto na dinevelop namin? Ang Cagayan Valley po ay known na number one corn-producing regions in the Philippines. And we are the corn capital of the Philippines. Kaya naman po, ang magsasaka namin nalulungkot sa presyo ng mais. Mababa, di ba? Kasi binabarat sila. So ngayon, ang isang objective nito ay matulungan na magsasaka paano po i-improve yung value ng kanilang grains na hindi na lang po ito ibebenta na raw grains, kundi ibebenta lang in this form of products. Okay. So, ito po yung aming sinusundan na framework until such time kami ay makabuo ng isang product. Okay, na sinasabi nating science-based. So, from product development, product packaging labeling, marketing, and up to technology commercialization. Now, ito po yung una. Ito po yung aming bagong-bagong na release ng intellectual property right. May silky sip. Ano po ito? Ito po ay gawa sa buhok ng mais. Yung fresh na buhok ng mais, ito po ay diuretic. Diba ho, ang mga, even mga bata ngayon, no? even mga infants, meron na pong problema sa pag-ihi. Now, ito po, kahit anong ages ng consumers, pwede na po siya. So, yun po rason. It's for health and wellness. And at the same time, magbibigay po ito ng karagdagang income para sa mga magsasaka. Dati po, itinatapon lang yung buhok ng mais, especially yung fresh. Pero ngayon, pwede na po ito ibenta na magsasaka. At na-perfect na rin po namin yung teknolohiya kung kailan best time na i-harvest yung buhok ng mais na hindi naman po affected yung bunga ng mais. Okay, so it's a, fresh, a refreshing diuretic drinks for all ages, ideal for school canteens, and best for fast food chains, restaurants, and Starbucks. It depends on the packaging. Okay, so yan po ang presyo. Oh, ng, ng, ng produktong ito, yan po, dyan po nang galing yung maize silky sip. Dito po sa buhok ng mais na yan. Now, I'll give you idea, pag po kayo ay kumuha ng isang kilong fresh silk ng mais, ito po yung gagawin nyo. I-boil nyo lang po yan, in a 10 liters of water, yung isang kilo, add 100 grams lemongrass, kasi we need to introduce antioxidant there, the uh, uh, lemongrass stalk and leaves, and one kilo of corn silk. Then, isi-simmer nyo po yan under low to medium heat for 15 minutes. And then, tanggalin na po ninyo lemongrass na nandun and the corn silk. Then, filter it, okay, and add six, 600 ml honey. Kasi kailangan, no? May maintain natin yung, yung pagka-well maize niya. Uh, and then, sterilize the bottle spe, spe, using either bottles or stand-up tetra pack. Kasi tetra pack din po namin kasi, di ba, yung parang sa ZSO, pag ibenta mo si school, patok. And then, retort it for 15 at, or at least 15 minutes. So, that's a simple procedure. And pagka po ito ay magkaka-interest kayo, uh, ang sunod po nito ay itetrain po namin kayo sa processing center on how to really uh, uh, produce this kind of product. Next. Mangi, under Mangi Maxi brand also is the Kraknik. If Ilocos is popular for that cornic, we have the Kraknik. Kraknik, what's the difference? Ang amin ay nakrak na. Yung problema, walang ngipin, bata, etc. Mahirap ngumuya. Ito po, hindi siya mahirap ngumuyain. Kasi po, at the same time, hindi na po ito ginamitan ng lime para i-remove yung skin, para mag alsa hindi na po. Kasi, immediately, nakrak na siya. So, hindi mo na siya kailangan lagyan ng lime. Sometimes din po, yung lime, hindi rin siya good for the health, no? So, at the same time, eto, pwede siyang cereal breakfast. Kung ayaw mo siya kainin as finger foods, pika-pika, pwede mo siya lagyan ng gatas in the morning or any ano. And then, pwede mo na siya kainin as cereal breakfast. So, eh, potential consumers po nito, Mark, or Nick Addicts consumers. Next. Ganito po siya gawin. Okay? Select, grade, and clean the corn grits. 
Kung anong gusto mong klase ng green, make sure to remove all small stones or other foreign materials that may be present from the grits. Next, lagay nyo po niyo 5 kilos glutinous grits on a 30 liter capacity casserole. Then, ipugasan po yung grits, eat in a flowing water like cooking rice and add 20 to 25 liters of water. Then, cook for 3 to 4 hours with occasional stirring to avoid the burning of the bigas. Then, wash the cooked grits in flowing water and drain it to cool and remove the excess water. Then, place it in a dried corn binatog or hermetic plastic super green bag and stack it for 2 days. Then, dehydrate for 2 hours, deep fried, and then dry corn binatog with that 350 to 400 degree centigrade. Then, when the binatog floats in the hot oil, remove the cracknick and drain excess oil. Simple as that. So, meron na po kayong negosyo or sa cracknick. Now, ito po siya. So, pwede nyo po siya i-flavor ng kung gusto nyo. Cheese, garlic, whatever. So, 5 glutinous, 5 kilogram glutinous corn grits may approximately yield to 25 packs of 250 gram each of the cracknick. Okay. So, Another is, ito po, ito yung po yung hot selling, hot cake din ito ang dating pagka binibenta. We call it cafe baga. You know, if you go to Cagayan Valley, uh, may kwento po yan eh, sa mga estudyante, especially elementary yata, hindi yan makalimutan. Bakit namin pinangalan ng cafe baga? Sa region to po, especially the Ibanags, the IPs, pag pinapa-spell daw po ng teacher noon sa kanila, spell coffee. Alam niyo po kung anong paano i-spell ng Ibanags ang coffee? It's B-A-G-G-A. Because every time they hear the word coffee, automatically po ang magre-register sa mind ng mga Ibanags doon are the baga. And the baga means bigas for the Ibanags. But they refer it to the bigas of the white corn. Kasi yun ang kinakain nila. So we call it cafe baga. So actually, this is 80 pesos per pack. Ang kagandahan po nito is also a cereal breakfast, hindi yung traditional coffee na ano to, no? So, yung ano po, yung nagsesettle down na bigas niya, pwede na po yung kainin na bigas. And then yung, yung ano niya, of course, the, the liquid portion is now the automatic, the coffee. Okay? So, may, may paraan lang po yan para masarap yung ano, yung, yung ano to, parang amag niya na parang cereal, ano mo na yon Lagyan mo lang siya ng konting, you know, Any na, pwede, say condensed milk, etc. And that's good for breakfast. And the good thing is here is that lahat po ng addict ng coffee pero pinagbabawalan na po ng doktor because of heart palpitation, this is now the solution. You will never feel palpitation kasi this is non-caffeine. Okay. So, ang potential consumers po natin yung market nito is coffee shops, fast food chains, and consumers of non-caffeine drinks. So, ito po patok na patok na po sa masa. Actually, marami nang lumalapit sa amin nito dahil uh, because of the health benefits of this product. Ganito lang po siya, simple gawin. Okay, ulit, pumili ka ng maganda, linisan na corn grits, and make sure to remove all stone stains. Kasi uh, pag may stones po yan, masisira po yung, you know, yung, uh, yung texture ng product that may be present in that grits. Okay? And then, pan rose. Pero kami po, ang trade secret is we don't use the, the ordinary pan. We prefer the, the pan made out of clay. Okay? And then, or, uh, then i-pan roast po nyo over low to medium heat for at least 30 minutes. Stir the grits continuously to, uh, to achieve that uh, target roasting quality. Okay? Then, let the roasted corn grits uh, rest for at least 15 minutes and before, pack, uh, before packaging, And actually, a kilo of these grits may yield up to 700 grams of the cafe baga, or that is equivalent to 120 cups or servings of coffee drink. Tignan nyo, yung 80 pesos will give you that number of cups of coffee. So it's very affordable, and it's very fitted for yung may problema sa heart palpitation. And then, another is, di ba, di pansit. If you go to Cagayan Valley, Very non ang pansit kabagan. If you go to Tugigaraw, very non ang pansit batil patong. So, mahilig po kami ng pansit. 
Now, problema, minsan nagpapamahal sa noodles is the wheat flour. Kasi, di ba, ang talagang very successful ka sa paggawa ng noodles is using the wheat flour. Now, what we did is that we substituted about 30% of the wheat flour content of the, the noodles with the white corn uh, flour. So, this time, we call it daw. We have two variant. Ito po yung purple. Galing, hinaluan po namin ito ng purple corn. Alam naman naman ninyo, any purple has antioxidants. So, yun po yung variants na yan. So, we have the white and the purple. So, it's a vegetable and rich corn noodles. And it is very, it's made out of white, I mean, and pigmented corn. And the noodles can be used as pancit guisado, palabok, spaghetti, and for carbonara. Now, why corn grits? Alam naman na natin, ano? Okay, so, yun. Bakit namin pinirapot yung corn grits? Kasi po, alam natin yan, it's very low in glycemic index. Tapos, pag kinain mo yan, hindi ka kaagad magugutom. Hindi ka laging ano to, maghahanap ng pagkain. Kaya minsan, problema, obese po tayo kasi kain tayo ka ng rice. Yun po ang pang-satisfy natin sa ating gutom. But not this one kasi pag kumain ka ng, ng bigas, out of mais, mabigat po yan sa chan. Okay, so, ito po. Ito naman ay bigas. Pinagmix po namin in a different ratio yung bigas ng palay at saka bigas ng mais. Okay, so we have, uh, ito po ay, pag sa kami na galing, it's 30 pesos, pero nandun po sa exhibit area is nasa 35 pesos per kilo nang So, pang masa, di ba? So, these different uh, blends of pure corn grits and milled rice are traditional staple for people from different regions of the Philippines, no? So, actually, uh, ito po yung solution uh, for those suffering from diabetes or having problem on high blood sugar. So, it is very affordable and energy staple uh, ano to, uh, food. Now, recently, ito po ang daming magtagpa-franchise sa amin. We call it corn betes. This is out of corn na ice cream. Yan po ay social lang siya dahil galing yan sa isang restaurant na non sa amin na tourist destination. But ngayon po nasa ano na siya, ano to yung ice cream maker na nandun lang sa mall, etc. And very affordable if you want to franchise. Uh, uh, it can be served in a cone or in a small cup. Ito po yung magandang negosyo. Okay? So we corn eat corn betes. It's very nutritious. Very nutritious. Okay. And coming soon, yan po. Yan, hindi ko mo po muna i-reveal kung ano po yan. Kasi aabangan nyo po yan sa susunod na NTF. Okay? So, now, syempre, hindi ko po kakalimutan. Kasi dit, ito pong product na ipakita ko to which is the last. Dito po kasi sumikat ang region 2. Dito po kami na challenge na to develop more on out of corn. When we release commercialized Pinoy Gourmix as substitute for disaster relief food, Nung sa Typhoon Yolanda, ang ginagamit is the U.S. Rice Mana Pack. We have better and we need to go support local. So the Pinoy Gourmix, ito po, ginagamit na ngayon in Tar Philippines sa pagkain sa masa program, the feeding program, the nutrition program, the DSWD, DILG, etc. Very affordable, very complete, walang karne. Kala mo may karne, but the karne there is the texturized vegetable protein out of soya. So, a very complete food. Ang kliyente po namin dito, recently, last week, we have the Regional Technology Investment Forum. Sino po? Ang lumapit na po sa amin ay mga nandun managing the BJMP, mga preso. The, yung sa na National Disaster Risk, Dis uh, Disaster Risk Reduction Program and the Philippine Police, the Philippine Army, etc. Kasi kailangan ito ng kainin nila. No? So, yun po yun. So, uh, kaya ko po rin po pinopromote ito because this is still this out of corn. We substituted, uh, if you have uh, tasted the U rice uh, US mana pack, ang laman po lang nun ay rice, konting TVP, konting carrots. This one, we substituted about 60% of the rice component of the US rice mana pack and we use what? Not only the white corn grits, but the adlai grits. Okay, kasi ang adlai, may antioxidant, and it's a, a medicinal staple crop. Okay, so yan po yung mga gamit niya. Simpleng lugaw lang po. 
Ang isang pakete niyan, could already feed about 10 to 15 person. Yung po maraming anak, silang bentahan nyo, patok na patok po yan. ba? Diba? At the same time, pag, pag niluto mo sa umaga, pwede namang hanggang gabi po yon. And that will cost you only about 30 to 35 pesos. Okay? That is why patok po ito sa feeding program at saka doon sa komunidad na kung saan mahirap talaga ang buhay. Okay? So, ganyan lang. Lutuin lang po siya parang lugaw and then okay na po. And it's very nutritious uh, product. Sariling atin, di ba? So, yun yun. So, ito po, ganyan po. Tingnan nyo, mga bata, matanda, mga sexy, mga maganda, pangit, whatever. Okay po. Yan po ang kinakain, di ba? So, now, yan. Bakit umiikot sa bigas ng mae? Hindi lang po natin tutulungan ng magsasaka. Kundi, because DA Bar, DA Region 2, through DA Bar, is very much concerned about the health ng bawat Pilipino. Okay? So, yun po, pagpapakita ng concern na dapat ang kainin natin ay medicine na. So, sabi nga, let our food be our medicine and our medicine be our food. At the same time, we are helping the farmers. Okay? So, yun yun. So, yan, adlay. Okay? Adlay po ay may vitamin B. Lahat po na nangihina na ng tuhod, whatever. Pag nagana po, ang mahal po ng B-complex, whatever, nandyan na po. Yan sa adlay. And it's even high in protein. Or by the way, yung mga corn grits din po, meron yan 6 to 7% protein. And based po din sa aming breeding program, we are improving. We are now on 8 to 10 protein content. Okay. Then rice, alam na natin yan. Soybean, yan ang laman yan. Okay. Ayong mo ng karne. Kasi bawal sa'yo. Nahanap ko lasa ng karne. Yan na lang po. Out of texturized vegetable protein. Kung gusto nyo pong makita ang sample nito, TVP, punta lang po kayo dun sa uh, exhibit put ng soybean. At makikita na po ninyo yan. Okay? Munggo, maraming din nakakaalam nito. Alam nyo ba na ang munggo, it's what? The mung bean sprout is rich in vitamin C. Actually, 12 times higher fold than the, the other, the, 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 ano to, the, the common na source ng vitamin C. So, kanina po, dinudumog yung region to boot Because of the dehydrated, sprouted munggo. Kasi minsan mga bata, ayaw po kainin yung fresh sprouts. Ngayon, dinehydrate na po namin. So, pwede na po yon kainin. Pwede punta ka ng sine, may date ka, or wala kang pera. Yun na lang po ang dala mo instead of popcorn. ba? Diba? So, yun yun. Then, malunggay, alam na natin. This is one of the more important uh, ingredients ng gourmet mix na kung saan Uh, this is a miracle tree actually Kasi because of the, the, the miracle contribution relative to health Yan, yan, meron po siyang yellow ginger turmeric Alam naman na natin yung ano po gamit niya ah, Ano po, okay, and then uh, Ganyan lang po siya lutuin Mga 15 to 20 minutes lang siya Para din po lugaw Okay, so it's a very healthy Uh, food for every Filipino. Now, ladies and gentlemen, kung gusto nyo pong magnegosyo, gusto nyo po i-avail lahat ng technologies, even the trade secret, we can reveal it to you. Just contact our magagaling na researchers, uh, scientists in Region 2 na nag-develop ng product na to. Uh, nandyan po ang number nila. You can contact them. And then, kami po ay willing na magbigay ng trainings And then, makipag, magbigay po ng technology transfer certificate and even for malalaking negosyo for licensing agreement uh, sa inyong lahat. Okay? And so, because, because kami po ay nagtatrabaho na scientists, researchers sa Department of Agriculture under government, sabi nga po dyan, we need to transfer the technology because we are being covered by that Technology, Philippine Technology Transfer Act of 2009. Ano pong sabi dyan? Government-funded R&D must be readily and accessibly transferred to target clients. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sin to keep the technology. Kaya po ako nandito para ibahagi po sa inyo yung aming resulta ng aming pag-aaral. So, our researchers are very grateful with DA Bar. 
for this uh, uh, R&D output kasi kung wala pong DA bar, wala po kami pondo na ginamit sa pag-develop uh, ng mga produktong ito. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless us all and mabuhay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So, may, may tanong po ba kayo? Thank you very much po, Ma'am Rose Aquino. Any questions po? Marami pong mga products na na-present. Baka po meron po sa inyong may katanungan. From the audience po. Yes, sir. Sir, palapit na lang po sa mic sa gitna. Uh, good afternoon po. Ako po si Mario Andayog sa, sa P5 po. Uh, tanong ko lang po, kasi ang sinampol nyo po ay puro po mga puti na corn. Paano po kung yung ano yung yellow? Kasi uh, mahirap mahirap sa amin yung puti. Uh -huh. kung, ano, may iba rin po ba ang ano niya? Ang, ang ano niya? Taste niya? Or ang uh -huh. ano niya? Itsura? Ano po ba ang... Uh, uh, pwede na, uh, pa, bakit po kami nag-focus sa white? Kasi po, yun po kasi ang ano to, parang... Uh, It's a DA uh, uh, ano to, program para po ma, ma ano to ma natin yung ra, yung food sufficiency ano po. But you can we can do it also on yellow, why not? Ano po? Pero yung po sa silky sip, yung pong buhok ng mais, yung diuretic, both yellow and white corn. Mas maganda pa nga po dun sa yellow kasi kung kalibawa kung genetically modified na corn ang ginagamit hybrid, hindi po tayo nag spray di ba? So, safe po, tanggalin yung silk. That's for from yellow corn. Yes. So, okay. pwede po. The same procedure naman po, you, we can do it. But Thank but you. that's the idea. Thank you po. So, meron pa. Sige. <laughs> uh -oh. um, good afternoon, ma'am. Mm. Um, kilala niyo na yung Eve Vanilio po sa DA Bar. Na ano lang po ako, uh, question dun sa Corn Betes. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, magkano yung franchise, magpo-franchise sa Corn uh, Betes? Based from their competition, pera po yung machine ah, because you can you can avail of the that uh, ice cream maker, any, uh, the ice cream maker is about 50,000, 60,000. Pero yung startup uh, capital niyan ay pwede na po siyang maski 25,000. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. okay, so Thank you po. Okay. Ma'am Rosie, good mm. afternoon. Turn po. Finally po from the A bar. Ma'am, of all the innovative products that you have presented po, pang beauty queen po yung tanong ko, uh -oh. alin po yung favorite ninyo dito and why? Ah, okay. Silky sip. Kasi po may problema rin ako sa, you know, sa UTI. Alam mo yan, yung pag-married ka na and all that yan. So, yan yung isa kong talagang pinopromote. Then, second to that is the, the cafe baga. Kasi ako rin may palpitation eh. Hindi rin ako nakakatulog agad sa uh, pag uh, yung traditional coffee. So, yun. So, maraming ganyan, di ba? So, yun. Yung, yung the cafe baga and the, the maize silk is it. Uh, meron pa po sa mga gustong magnegosyo. Anyway po, uh, nandun po ang booth ng DA Region 2. Doon po sa mga gustong makipag one-on-one -on -one sa akin. At naghihiya po mamuna ngayon. Uh, pwede po ako lapitan doon. At kasama yung isa pang researcher namin na gumawa ng, techno ng product, pwede po tayo mag-usap. At kung, kung medyo marami-rami po ang, ang magkakagusto, We can tap the A bar through the seminar series na abangan po ninyo ito at i-discuss po namin ulit uh, in, a, in a more detail, detailed ano to, uh, presentation. Okay? So, yun po. Thank you po. Once again, palapakan po natin si Director Mary Rose Aquino.